Today, we are going to talk about targeting and how we can target people specifically based on what your industry is. And we can actually identify 80% of the population with 350 different data points that we collect on people from smart speakers they own, from connected TVs, laptops, tablets, mobile phones, other social media connected devices, places that they go, email addresses, um, how they vote politically, purchases that they make, all things that you can target by. And we're gonna to talk today how you can use digital display to actually target. For this example, let's say we're working with a company that sells golf equipment, they do golf repairs, and they do golf fittings. So we can actually target golfers. We can target them in a variety of ways to effectively compile a list of potential golf fitting customers who can later deliver your offer to. And we're going to do this with the blended campaign. We're going to use keyword search targeting, contextual targeting, retargeting, and mobile geofencing. Keyword search targeting. I'm not talking about just going to Google and typing in on Google. I'm talking about any website that you go to. Contextual targeting. You could be on Golf Digest or just online reading an article about Tiger Woods. Uh, if you're doing something that, again, shows the online behavior of somebody that either plays golf or is interested in golf, we can capture that data and also start serving your ad to these people. Retargeting ads, I'm sure you've seen this before. You've gone, say maybe you're online, you're looking for a, a Ford F-150. And then, you know, the next two or three weeks, no matter where you go online, you keep seeing ads for Ford F-150s. Well, why is that? It's because you're being retargeted. We can do the same thing. Display ad examples. If you're looking online, it doesn't matter what website you go to. You don't have to go to a specific website to see anything or to see these ads because our ads will follow your target list of people that we're targeting. Uh, mobile geofencing. This is my favorite technique. If you look to the top right corner, that's the Overlook Golf Course in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And you see that yellow line around there? That's a geofence. We're able to put an imaginary line around a real world area anywhere in the world. So Anybody that goes inside that zone, we would consider a viable customer, right? If there's anybody inside that yellow zone right now, chances are pretty high that they're golfing, right? They either like golf, they're golfing, or they're with somebody that golfs, uh, or you know, maybe they work there. But nine out of 10 chances, people inside that zone are going to be people that are golfing because they like to golf. We can target those people and, again, capture all those people and then start putting ads for your offer in front of those target people. And we can do what's called a weighted action, meaning every cell phone ID has a unique ID. It's like a fingerprint, no two are the same. So if my cell phone is on the golf course at Overlook Golf Course, and then at some point after that, I start seeing ads for golf, et cetera, on my phone, on my laptop, on my desktop, I don't have to click on it. I can just scroll through and see them. If I eventually walk from any of the geofence locations, here's two more golf courses. That's the Lancaster Country Club and the Overlook there. It doesn't matter how many golf courses we geofence. We can add those people to a list and later market and target those customers with your offer. So here's an idea of what your offer would look like if they were looking at it on a mobile phone. As you look through a mobile device and you're scrolling through maybe a news feed, you'll see areas on your phone that you know are distinct areas where ads are going to pop up. That's the place where we'll display your ad to your target customers. So again, they don't have to go to uh, Cumulus's website. They don't have to go to Golf Etc. website. They don't have to go to Google or a specific website. Just if they're within a certain area and we capture them from a geofence or they're searching keywords or they're doing something contextually online that gives the appearance or the behavior of a golfer, we can capture that individual and put your job offer, I mean, your offer in front of them. And then we take your building, we draw an invisible fence around your building, but we don't call that a geofence, that's a conversion zone. A conversion zone allows us to track the number of potential golfers that have received your mobile ad after being targeted and physically visited your location. So it's really a way for you to track the results of your campaign and a way for you to hold our feet to the fire and say, hey, you know, is this really effective? Am I really getting customers from this?
you think about, let's find the new more customers. Where can we do that? We can do that on the websites that they're already visiting. We can do that in the news feeds that they're looking at on their phones. Wherever they're going online, we can follow them and remind them about your offering.